Hey, it's AK Option Trader. Welcome to video 5 in our series, Intro to Stock Charts, Candles, and Trading Stock Charts, and yada, yada, yada. Um, hope you've been enjoying them. I'm, I'm seeing a few people look at them, getting a few comments, a few emails. So, uh, you know, if you got questions, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to put it out there. I'm sure somebody else was going to have the same question. So this is video 5, as I talked to you again. This is not for advanced or intermediate trainers. This is beginning stuff. Um, and uh, personally, I think it's good stuff. This is good stuff to learn. This is stuff you're going to use throughout your trading career. The more you see it, the more familiar you become with it, the better you're going to be. So let's jump into it. Two, cloud, two candles we're going to look at today. There are two candle patterns, which means it takes two candles to make these patterns. The one on the left right here, dark cloud cover, or dark cloud as it'll be called. It's technical term, I believe, is dark cloud cover. And then the piercing candle. Okay, so these are two, two sets of... Uh, uh, candles okay again we take everything in context you've heard me talk at the up you know in an up move or in a down move yada yada and that's the same thing here okay so this dark cloud cover this is one we're looking for uh, in a what you're looking for is an uptrend or an up move and you're gonna see this near the top of the up move you're gonna and these can have wicks on them the I, I made them all shaved with no wicks we learned what shaved candles are these are all shaved candles no wicks basically what it is you have a nice long uptrend or you have an uptrend comes up you have a nice good uh, a decent day here you know like I said it could be half this body size with big long wicks whatever but it's an up day the next day you gap up generally or, or open up I should say but gap up is the best you gap up maybe you go up a little bit more and then you come down and then there's hard selling throughout the day and you end near the lows of the session or maybe not at the lows but near them or you could have a wick down in here all right the key is you're at the end of an uptrend this candles white this candle's black. This candle closes at least at least halfway beneath this candle here. Okay. The farther down it closes, the better it is. Of course, if it closes beneath then beneath this candle, what if it closed down here? We would have what? Say it. Bearish engulfing. All right. So it's not quite a bearish engulfing, but it is a dark cloud cover. Okay. So if it's halfway down, it's almost the same as a bearish engulfing. It's over halfway down. The farther down it is, the more bearish it is. The stronger the reversal. On the opposite side, you have a downtrend. You have a downtrend. Black candle, black candle. You have a big black candle day. Same thing. You can have wicks on all these. Moves down, comes down. Have a nice dark day. Good volume. Good selling. Everything's great. Next day, gaps down. Oh, here we go. More down move. Maybe makes a wick down here. Comes back up. And then the rest of the day closes up. Maybe gaps up. Close near the high of the days. Over halfway into this candle. You know, gap down over halfway into this candle up with a white candle. So you have your black and a white. At the end of a bottom, this is a sign of a reversal. An up move is coming. So this is a sign of a down move is coming. This is the sign an up move is coming. They're opposite candles. Dark cloud covers near the uh, top move. A piercing is near a bottom of the move. Both of these show uh, caution. If you're in the trade for puts, you might want to get out of this if you see this coming. If you're in long or with calls, you might want to think about getting out. Or it's a good entry point. But always wait for confirmation on these candles. Meaning you want to see another down day confirming this. Or you want to see another up day. Because you could have another candle like this black one over here. And ain't time to get in yet. Wait until you start seeing confirmation. We will go over confirmation in a section of this class. Alright, so I'm going to pause it and we're going to jump on some charts and find them. Um, all right, so now let's look at some charts. Um, this is one I've played several times. This is one I thought y'all would like. It is WMT, Walmart, Walmart stores. We all been there. Don't be ashamed to admit it. It's a great stock to trade. Uh, recently, it's been very volatile, and uh, all these lines are things we'll learn about. I just took the studies off there uh, so as not to confuse y'all. But anyway, um, it's one I trade a lot. You can see right here where I said at 55 short. Woo, look at this. Oh, <laughs> right there, baby. Shorted it for a nice play. So anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. But I use some of the stuff we're going to be learning about in these videos to do that. So let's start looking for some of our signals. Now you may see a lot of the other ones. Oh, is there a nice tweezer right here? You may see, <laughs> sorry about that. You may see some of the other ones we've been talking like, what's this right here? Bearish and golfing. All right, is it near the end of an uptrend? Not really. It's still up. But look at this candle. It was strong. It was big. Um, led to a nice downtrend. So there's one right there. Okay, that's from one of our old ones. And I see a lot of dojis in here. You're going to see a lot of reversal signals. But I've already highlighted a few just so we don't have to spend time looking for them. All right, so here's one here. 
Remember what this is? This is in a downtrend, four days down. Pretty nice big black gap here. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. Okay, so black gap here. Here's a candle. Gap down. All right, so here's the open right here. Gap down. Probably went down, came back up, rallied hard, and they closed near the highs of the day, more than halfway through this candle. This is a piercing. All right, led to a nice little up move. Was it a great up move? Not too great. Uh, peaked out here at 57 bucks, but the next day it again gapped up, sold down. This would have been a hard one to trade, to be honest with you, with these gaps all over in here. Very tough to trade, but still the signal is valid. Uh, before that, you see right here, we have the dark cloud cover. Here's a, the day, it's in an uptrend, had a couple of down days, which these are great, great plays for up moves right here. Had a nice, big, strong update. Look at that, that's pretty. Nice, big, strong update. Clear and uh, close near the near the highs of the day, left a little top wick, all right? Then, capped up a little bit, probably rallied up in the morning, and then boom, sold off, <coughs> closed near the lows of the day. Over halfway into this candle, the halfway mark of this candle is probably right about here. So this is a dark cloud or dark cloud cover, which led to a nice down move. Look at that. Pretty decent down move from here. This would have been a great entry point right here. Um, but you could have seen you could have got shook out hard the next morning because it gapped up before it went down. So anyway, those are two nice ones right there. Let's see if we can find some more, which I know we can because I marked them. I'm a cheater. Always cheat, always win. All right, so down here. Another piercing. Look at the wick on this bad boy. What a volatile day. Look at the volume down here. <whistles> big day here. Big day. But the, the pattern held. Now, if you're real brave, you'd buy it right at the close. What did I say? You always wait for confirmation. Why did this happen? Earnings. That's what these little symbols mean. Earnings. Earnings are a dangerous thing to play around with. We will talk about that later. Always know when earnings are. That's a freebie right there. I'm throwing it in pattern held though I'm just trying to make a point here's another piercing all right nice down move nice down move here had a nice pretty big candle here actually this is actually bullish came off left a real bottom wick here all right and then look at this we gapped down probably moved down a bit rallied up way more than halfway through the body we didn't finish we didn't close at the highs which if we had would have been a bullish engulfing but way over the top and that led to a nice move here's a nice doji reversal a uh, inverted hammer hanging man yada 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 same thing here not in a pattern or trend it's a sideways move right here okay but this is dark cloud cover that's what these candles are dark cloud over halfway same thing yada 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 I do this one red because it is not valid okay it is not halfway through the candle okay so that is a bad one um, I'm sorry about that getting red when I do that. Anyway, so it didn't close over halfway down. That's why this is not valid. Or else it would have been a valid play. Nice up move. If this had closed down more than halfway down the candle, uh, then it would have probably signaled the reversal. It did signal the top is near. And here's a bearish engulfing, which also signaled the top is near. Had a nice rally before it started selling off. we got time for a couple more. All right, so here's a piercing here. Nice one, gap down, clearly over halfway, led to an up move. This one's sideways kind of, but it's a still a good candle. If you zoomed in on it a little bit, you can see still a decent candle. So still possibly playable. Another piercing here, beauty of one with a long tail. This is a beauty, led to a nice up move. There you go. So we're running out of time. You can see them all over this. There's dark cloud cover up there on top. They're all over the place here. All right, so dark cloud cover and piercing, all right? They signal the end of an up move. They signal the end of a down move. Things are coming. Things are near. So be watching for them. Learn them. Watch for them. Trade them. Get out of trade. Use them as signals, okay? So this will be the AK Option Trader signing off. Thanks for watching Video, si video 5. Uh, any comments or suggestions? I really appreciate it. Thanks. Trade well.